The Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, CAPA, has declared that Africa requires an approximately $250 billion annually to combat climate impacts far exceeding the mere $30 billion received in 2020. The executive director of CAPA gave the hint at the third National Climate Change Conference themed channeling Africa towards just sustainable climate finance, which was held in Abuja. Oluwafemi revealed that activists were demanding $5 trillion annually for the Global South to address historical injustices in climate financing. Speaking on the importance of climate finance, the Minister of Environment, Balarabe Lawal, who was represented by Victoria Paul, said that Nigeria's part to sustainability hinges on securing sufficient funds to support projects in renewable energy, afforestation, and sustainable transportation. Africa, we need a significant amount of this fund to adapt to climate change and limit the impact of the warming. It is estimated that the region will need an average of 250 billion per year in climate finance between 2020 and 2030, against the party sum, <coughs> sum of 30 billion it received in 2020, which is about 12% of the amounts needed. Even at that, the private sector is also still expected to help in mobilizing about $213.4 billion annually through multilateral development banks, deploying more than $10 billion to bridge the financing gap. Finance remains essential to close the funding gap in our environmental programs. The emphasis must shift towards creating a more accessible and just system of climate finance one that not only provides sufficient funding, but also distributes it equitably. Nigeria has championed the call for reforms that will enable Niger developing nations like ours to access climate funds more rapidly without necessary delays or administrative barriers. In his keynote address, global climate activist Nimno Basi urged the global south, including Nigeria and other African nations, to demand that wealthier countries acknowledge their role in climate change. From Paris Agreement, the world agreed to only, that countries would only cut emissions according to what is convenient to them. So it's national determined contributions. And Nigeria has its own beautiful NDCs. Every, almost every country has submitted their NDCs. Going to the COP, 20, going to COP 28, the United Nations Environment Program issued an emissions gap assessment report, which showed that if the world hopes to keep to 1.5 degrees, there was a lot of carbon, 27 gigaton carbon dioxide equivalent that needed to be dealt with. You know, you know what it showed that in all the Pledges made by, if countries kept to the pledges that they made, the world was aiming for about three degrees Celsius temperature increase above pre level. In other words, the pledges were useless. Stakeholders warned that without united and strategic efforts from vulnerable nations, achieving meaningful outcomes at global climate conferences may be elusive.